Okay, guys, so we're going to do a, another Mascara Mania episode. Um, I have my big basket, and since we have done like six of these or something already, I have gotten more mascaras sent to me, and it's been on my damn nerve. I keep getting mascaras left and right. I'm starting to give them away at some point, and I'm like, no, I need to save them for Mascara Mania, but how am I ever going to get through all of this mascara? This is insane. So, you know what? That's what we're going to take out. I'm not going to do an episode on it because it's a waterproof mascara topper from e.l.f. And I can't really do anything with that on a video for you guys. I can just review it eventually and let you know. But we're going to take that out of here because you aren't going to see a difference on there. It's just to put a waterproofing coat on your lashes. So, which I don't wear waterproof very often. So we have just weeded out one of these bad boys. Now, I'm going to draw from the endless supply of mascaras. I'm going to pick a good one from, like, the bottom. Oh! Well, I said pick a good one. This is Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara Full and Fabulous in Show Off Black. I have a couple of these. I think there's another one in here somewhere. Yeah, that has the, it has zebra print on it. That is Vanity Lash Mascara, Big and Bushy. Full and Fabulous and Big and Bushy. What's the difference? They're both in show off black. That doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, whatever. We're going to do the one I picked. I don't know what happens there. Okay. So, I'm going to you guys. Closer. We're only going to do one eye because uh, it'll just help us get through this a little bit more. I cannot get some of this mascara off from the last episode of those stupid 3D fiber lashes. This is what the brush look like, looks like. It's got like little spikies, but the spikies have, you know, it's not even focusing very well on it, but the spikies have little balls on the end of them. Let's go. Let's just do this. Alright, so this is full and fabulous. I'm assuming it's going to be very volumizing or it's going to claim that it is. We will see. Sorry, I can't see when I go with this angle, but to coat my lashes, I've got to. And I have still got this damn mascara on top of my eyelids from the stupid 3D fiber one. Okay. That kind of like clumped my lashes together. I don't a little better. I don't know if I like this. It's pretty clumped together. I'm kind of tired of mascaras doing that. I don't want spider leg lashes. I mean, they don't look too bad. Getting it on my eyelid, too. It's a problem with these huge lashes that I have. Okay, that's really clumpy. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm not too big of a fan of this one. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't think I like this one too much. So, I might use it, I might toss it, I might give it another shot and see how it goes. If not, it'll get tossed in the trash. It was a sample that I got from Sephora, I didn't pay for it. So if I throw it away, I'm not gonna be heartbroken over it, but I don't really like what it's doing to my lashes. They're not full and fabulous. They are thin, spider leg looking, lashes. I mean, it does kind of like tight line for you, but I want full volume all the way to the end, not just at the base of my lashes, because it does kind of look like this eye is tight lined versus this eye, even though this eye still has a little bit of tight line left on it from my makeup I took off a little bit ago, but I, uh, yeah, nah, I don't know. I don't think I like this one very much. So that was the Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara in Full and Fabulous. 
I do not like it. I will try it one more time, but it's probably going on the trash. And I will see you guys later.